following game is rated M for Mature. Parents should be aware that this game contains violence, blood and gore, graphic language, and suggestive themes. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, members of the Pride, and welcome back to another episode of Rage 2. So, we are down here. We just got a combat shotgun, which is awesome. Love, I love shotguns. They're my, uh, they're my, my favorite go-to weapon for for all of your your gaming needs uh oh cool that's nice uh, <laughs> and uh i i am looking forward to to causing a little mayhem here uh do i want to go that way or do i want to go this way oh no we want to go this way because that does this uh does this track how many how many things? How many? How many? Hello, how you doing? Come at me, bro. Come at me. Uh huh. Eh. <laughs> I I get him. I let him get a little too close. That, that was a that was a whoops. You know, it was a whoops. I was I was just gonna like wait for him and get let him get like right up in my face and then like blow him back and yeah that didn't work so. Oh, see, I like that reload speed much faster. That's much faster. I like that reload speed. That's that's much better. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, let's grab these real quick. All right. I like using the uh, the, the the pistol for for popping those open uh, so that. I'm not using my primary rounds here. You know what? Um, that's. Will it? Will it just blow by itself? Yes, it will. Good to know. All I need to do is set them on fire. All right. Oh. I just hit the record thing. Go ahead. Play, did you? Did y'all? Did y'all place your bets? <laughs> Uh, is this something? It is not. Okay. And, but this, however, is something. Oh my god, it is so dark in here. I cannot stand the fact that you can't... You can't turn on a flashlight in this game. Talk about really annoying. Do I want to... I, I have the feeling I've overlooked something back here. It doesn't look like it, but it feels like it. It feels like I'm overlooking something back here. I don't know why. I, can I go in... Oh. What if I, like, crouch and jump in here? Can I... No, it doesn't. I don't know. For some reason, I, I just... It feels like I'm overlooking something back here. Can I shoot those? No. I don't know. Alright. It's, uh... Looks like there's plenty of shotgun shells down here. I, I should be, uh... I should be using my favorite shotgun. I was thinking that, uh... I was gonna like run out of shotgun shells or something, but oh boy. Gather up all the meat and spores. Oh. Ah ha 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 I see. And I could go down here, but I don't know why I would do that. 
And is there... Can I, can I do... Can I, I cannot. Okay. So... Grab all that. And... Okay, so I... I, there, there was definitely something down this way. The question is, do I want to... Yes, I do want to go down that. Aha! Okay. Let me open these up real quick. Oop. Climb down and punch that. Alright. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, let's bust out the... Alright, I don't see anything coming up on the on the radar thingy. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, I see it. <laughs> oh boy! All right, all right. They want to get silly. They want to get silly around here. If they're gonna get silly, we can get silly. All right, grab all that stuff. And then we're gonna hop around these corners. Oh. Nope, get out of here. All right. Clear this way. Kind of keep an eye open. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Mutants are disgusting. Wait, which way is it? Is it I came from this way, right? But this looks kind of blocked off. Do I have to crouch in? Yeah, okay. All right. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, we'll just kind of slide down real gentle, gentle like. That looks. I was gonna say they look kind of like pods or something, so I was a little, I was a little concerned about that. Oh, jeez. You sneaky little... Oh boy. Alright. Oh, no, shotgun. That was sneaky. That startled me. Yeah, I hear ya. Is there something over here? So say there's something glowing over there. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know about me. You thought you know about uh, you knew about me, but you don't know about me. There's one thing I can do. It's twitch shoot. I kind of twitch and shoot. And I just fire blindly. I mean, I'll grant you the only t uh, only way I'm able to do it reliably is uh, is with a shotgun. But you know, hey, let's let's not nitpick over little details like that. Oh, all right. Here we go. Oh, there it. Oh, what? I knew there had to be something to that. Something was, like, bothering me about that. Okay, so... There, there's others of these, right? 
Here, let's grab these real quick. Let's hop up here. Cause th so this means I can, like, shoot these things, right? Maybe not. Okay, well. Maybe only some of them do it. That was creepy. Uh, what if we do, like, this? Oh! Oh! That's interesting! So, you can actually, like, shoot these. Does, does it actually do anything? I mean, shooting this one doesn't seem to do much. But that's... That's good to know. Alright, so let's keep on making our way. Aha! Alright, so maybe it's the ones that, that kind of glow a bit. Tried to sneak one by me, but oh, 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 okay. Anything? No. Do I, can I open these lockers or anything? No, I cannot. Let's grab this. Pick that up. Let's get in and shotgun some fools. That was a mistake. I wish I had like a sniper rifle or something like that. That would come in really handy. Alright. Oh, oh. What the heck keeps blowing up? Health infusion. Actually, you know what? Health infusion. <laughs> Grab those shotgun shells. Can I get up there? No, I cannot. Can I get up here? I cannot. Okay. Or, or if I can, I don't know how to do it. Alright. Oh! Pistol rounds. More pistol rounds. Alright. Jeez. Oh, you. All right. Hold on, you. Headshot. What? I'll say, does disease do anything? Doesn't look like it. All right. Let's shotgun again. Alright. Keep it. Aha! Okay. Alright. Oh, okay. Boom, boom. Grab up all this. All this happiness. Shoot those. I, I'm kind of concerned about them because I'm afraid they might be like booby trapped or something. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't appear to be, but still, you know, better better safe than sorry. Oh, am I stuck here? No, I'm not. Okay. When in doubt, don't step on rickety broken bars. You never know what might come out. Alright. Getting 
lots of junk. Okay, there seems to be something down there. And seems to be something this way. This appears to be like a main area. Let's see what happens if we go down this way. Might just be a dead end. I see something glowing, which... All right, let's, let's do control and jump, jump, take, wing stick. Oh yeah, I forgot all about the wing sticks. <laughs> I keep forgetting about like the fact that I've got like other, other things besides just my gun. <laughs> all right, so let's try it again and control, double jump. All right. Get out the turbine. Like you said, it's gummed up with some nasty mutant goo. Yeah, you made it all the way down to Muty Central and you're still standing. Outstanding work, Ranger. Now you just need to find the lid and crack it open. I think you can flush it out. Alright, so reboot the, tur the turbine. Uh, tell you what, we've got all these... Uh, you know what, if we've got all these... Uh, We've got all these health infusions. I think I'll just leave them there for the time being. You never know. I'm seeing a an uphill thing. My guess is that there's something... Yeah. Alright. Lever. My guess is I probably have to hit, like... I can't do anything with it, but... Oh, so... I get the distinct feeling this is going to become a mini-game. Yeah, this is going to become one of those, like... Quick, you have to do this, that, and the other, and you have to shoot things, and you have to run over here and grab things, and quick, hit this button, and click this thing and do it in time before the world explodes kind of thing. Alright. Something to, something to pay attention to. Alright, so I'm just kind of, what I'm, if you're asking, wondering what I'm doing, I'm kind of getting a, a general idea of the layout because I have the feeling this is about to become a run and gun situation. So, rather than just running around unsure of what to do I'm getting familiar with the area I'm also picking up like uh, like the boxes and things like that alright here we go oh hell oh hell Okay, okay. No oh boy! Come on, pop that dude, pop that dude, pop him. Oh, I got him. I got him. Two switches in total. You gotta flip them both. Oh, hey! Where'd you come from? Assault rounds and. Okay. I, I heard you gotta flip them both. I didn't catch. What, what he said. So, okay, but I am seeing those. So, yeah, I had a feeling something was going to be popping up. Yeah. You thought you knew about me, but you don't know about me. Oh, what I see over here? Call elevator. Nothing. Okay, never mind. Oh! Yeah, uh huh? That's what I thought. Oh! Uh-huh. Where are we going here? We need to get up there. Which means I need to go up those stairs. Where were those stairs? There it is. Go up this way. Doesn't look like there's a time limit. It looks like we just gotta do it. So... Alright, we're okay. Pull. One down, one to go. Alright. And... Uh-huh, whoop! Okay, we're good. We're good. 
Uh huh. Yeah, you thought. You thought. All right. So, run and jump, jump. Pull lever. All okay, right. It's starting to unclog. What now? Once Whoa! You the push to close the lid. That'll reboot the turbine. Yuck! Oh, hi! Hey, hi! Hey. I'm trying to look at the weird bluggy thing. Do you mind? I mean, how rude! Hit me while I'm trying to kill you. I mean, you act like you're not, you know, some sort of mutants psychopath, you know, just destruct uh, engine of destruction, you know, trying to kill me. Don't you understand that your job is for me to shoot you with shotgun and for you to die? I mean, sh you know, you try to make these things understand. So unreasonable. Hey, hey, we got power. Can't believe you made it. Those were some tough muties, Ranger. You cut through them like butter. I did. But now I want to get the hell out because this place stinks worse than a grunt barracks septum tank. Well, it shouldn't be too hard. There's an old service elevator down there. It leads directly into my armory. There's a service elevator that leads directly to your armory. Well, then why, pray tell, didn't I take the freaking elevator to here? <laughs> oh, because there was no power. That's why. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute! Slow your roll here! Now that's one for the books. It was me, Doc Kavasir, Lucem Hagar, and your old Sergeant Prowley. You do know Sergeant Prowley. She raised me. Made me into the killing machine I am today. I figured. You have that, uh, extra something about you. Like you've been trained by the meanest. And the best. Who oh, didn't make it? She was killed in the attack. I'm sorry to hear. That explains why you're here, I guess. Filling in for Prowley. Whatever it takes to crush the authority. Amen. By the way, what's your handle? Lion. Lion Walker. Oh, I mean Walker. Walker. It is. All right. I guess. Yeah. Ranger okay. Walker. Right there. There you <laughs> are. Ranger. Hello. How are you? Uh, do you have any... Oh, I was going to say, can I grab that? <laughs> I don't see any goodies here. This so is my you. armory. My base of operations. From here, I'll be able to start <coughs> working on Project Dagger. Now with the juice flowing freely again, there are a few more projects I could use some help with. I bet there is. I'll Walker. bet there is. These projects come with benefits for you, too. While I'm setting up Dagger, you might as well get beefed up for the grand goddamn cataclysm. Don't know if you know, as well. but Project Dagger involves you driving a jury-rigged tank into Authority Headquarters alone and manually distributing a nanotribe murder Mickey into the grand ghoul himself, General Cross. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Guess I better get busy, then. Guess you better. I'll reach you on the comm box when I need you. I'm down with driving a tank into places and blasting them into pieces. Congratulations, you have unlocked Marshall's project. These are mainly focused around combat. Good, because I could use some combat. All right, so that's this. Uh, kill and destroy. Okay, so projects are mainly focused around combat. Complete locations and activities tied to kill and destroy to earn more... Operation power for Marshall's operation. Uh, doing so will also earn you project points, which you can use to get project. Okay, so enter project. Some of Marshall's projects are available from the start. Others require you to unlock new tiers by leveling up, leveling up his operations. You increase operations level by completing locations or activities tied to this. In this case, murder, death, kill. Gotcha. So, okay, carry more of each type of bullet ammunition. That sounds good. Uh, up to six throwables of each type. Okay. Uh, re reduces shakes and blur. Also sounds interesting. Surprise attack. Any attack on an unaware enemy deals five times damage. Okay, now, now we're getting into my language here. 
you know, can we combine that with a silenced weapon, please? Uh, grenade tennis. D uh, oh, grenades can be deflected with a well-timed melee strike while the me grenade is flying through the air. No kidding. All right, well, I can, I can buy all of these. Uh, so let's just buy all of these. Oh, and it, uh, and it unlocks... It, uh, it unlocks other stuff. Okay. Critical strike, a 15% chance to trigger a heavy impact melee strike that deals 50% more damage. Which would be cool if, um... Okay. Uh, I mean, that would be cool if, like, there were a way to sneak up on people and just, like, melee bash them. That would rock. Um, overdrive slide kick. During overdrive, crouch slide into a light enemy to launch them into the air. Okay. Moving target. Damage taken from enemy bullets while sprinting is reduced by 30%. Interesting. Uh, enable reload while sprinting. Oh, that's a, that's, we're just, we're just taking that right now. Uh, weapon tinkering. Enable switching back and forth between weapon modifications of the same tier. Okay. Carry 25% more of each type of special ammunition. Well, I mean, as far as I, as far as I can see, this is pretty much the only thing I have available to, to use this stuff for. So I may as well use them. Uh, let's go ahead and carry more ammunition. Uh, let's enable the tinkering. Oh, okay, level 3. Uh, tactical movement. Move 50% faster while crouching or aiming down the sights of a weapon. That seems very useful. Sprint 30% faster. Okay. Weapon juggler. Switch weapon when the current weapon magazine is empty to boost the switch speed by 100% and fill up the magazine of the new weapon. Huh. Okay. Carry 8 throwables. Carry 25% more of each type. I, I, I'm getting a uh, I'm getting a general uh, idea. Uh, grenades can be deflected even after landing, greatly simplifying its use. Okay, well, I'm thinking this one for sure. <clears throat> Eight throwables. Um, this one seems interesting. So basically, if I switch, if I'm shooting somebody and when it's empty, I switch weapons. It'll also like re refill the magazine of the uh, of the other weapon. Oh, magazine of the new weapon. I don't know. Fifty percent while crouching or aiming down the sights of a weapon also seems very interesting. You know what? We're we're also going to do that one too. All right, and we are currently out of those things. No problem. All right. Whatever. You'll need every edge you can get. Thank you. I intend to. Uh, I intend to loot you entirely. Uh, okay, grab that. And grab... Uh, I don't see any other... Oh, yep, right there. And right there. And... Oh, oh! Data pads! Message from Prowley. Uh, okay. Um, as, as usual, guys, if you want to read these on your own, feel free to stop the video and there uh, it is. and watch a little dagger them. puzzle piece, a scrambler. You're gonna need it if you want to get past the door to ground sec, but it still needs a bunch of work. Okay. Ride elevator. All right, so, whoa, get up. Uh, okay, so I think I've gathered up, all, although it's good to know that we've got health infusions down here if I need to get them. So I guess we'll go ahead and take the elevator back up. I'm assuming to here? Yeah, okay. Try to avoid getting killed, okay? You're, you're so picky. You're not allowed to get killed, I mean, Man, you act like, you know, you, you care about whether or not I live or die or something. I mean, what's up with that? 
Uh, I am not seeing anything special, so let's. Uh, yeah, how many times are you gonna give me final, final outros? Later. Oh. What? I don't know what that was about. Uh, is this a thing? No, it's not. That's a thing, though. All right. Uh, green side, look at him. I a love. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm not seeing any. Other than just this stuff. Okay. Oh. Hi. Hey. Ranger. <laughs> Thanks for backing my story. Thanks. Uh, I needed this because, well, see? Really needed it. I mean, really. Oh, boy. Okay. So, just a little bit of friendly advice to the world never trust a junkie um, you can be friends with them you can treat them nice you can treat them with as decent people but the fact of the matter is they're not trustworthy because they will do anything they uh, anything at all to get a fix until they actually break their addiction they are completely untrustworthy because they will do anything and I mean anything for their fix so uh, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm glad I was able to, to help this girl and be nice to her, but I will not be trusting Gulo. I work for Marsh Exclusive. I get him all the goods and low-down low dirty dirt that's all the going on here in GB, in the big wasteland, wellspring, everywhere, even Vineland. Marsh took me in, see? I was fading fast in the gutter, getting by one hustle at a time. <laughs> Small kid, too. Already hitting the swell hard, getting plonkers on huff if there was no drink. Uh, he got me out of shit city and kept me warm and fed. <laughs> he keeps me in top shelf swill, too. <laughs> Not the real rock guy I used to swig. Oh, it's good. It's a good life. It's better than being dead. <laughs> yeah? I, I imagine so. Have questions? I have answers. I have, um... Uh, can I not buy from you? I thought I could buy from you. Am I not... Wait, was that the only time I could buy any uh, uh, any of those, th uh, those, those art chest things from you? Well, that's just... Lame. Okay. Well, actually, the curious mind was not sated. Can I please have, have questions? I have answers. Yeah, I have answers, and you have questions, and I, whatever I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Um. Well. Come again. Um. That. Uh. My. My alarm. Um. Did go off, even though you didn't uh, actually hear it. Um. Because I managed to to turn it off before that happened. Can I talk to you, you about something? Oh, that's right. No, you want to... That's right. You want to... Adios. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what are... What the heck? <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I think I've already gotten everybody's... Uh, everybody's different... Uh, requests and such like that uh so guys i think that is going to do it for this particular episode uh, back online outstanding work thank you appreciate you um we're going to go ahead and head out into the wasteland um but uh for now that is going to do it for this particular episode i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do the liking and the subscribing and the commenting down below you guys are just the best. I truly, truly appreciate all of my fans. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, everyone, always remember that anyone can be a mouse that roars, but it takes someone special to be a lion that squeaks. So embrace your inner lion and squeak on. Yeah, this is going to be a part of this game that's going to bother me is the junkies and the uh, and the and that kind of thing, because that kind of it. it I, I have a kind of a soft spot because I've had a couple of friends in the past get really badly hooked on on 
drugs and such, and I see them just destroy their lives. Um, and so it always kind of hurts me to, to, to see people who are obviously very deep in the throes of, of addiction. And so it's, it's a, that's a tough one for me. But so don't, winners don't do drugs, guys. <laughs>